fatal hit and run case that has gone cold. Now one local family hopes that their story sparks some much needed leads so they can finally get some closure. 13 ABC's Senna Ora sat down with the St. John family and joins us with this crime and safety alert. Well, it's been five long years for the St. John family. Dustin was on a bicycle when he was hit by one car and subsequently hit by another. Police have little to go on and need your help to finally crack this case. Dustin St. John celebrated his 39th birthday just hours before his sudden death on September 13, 2009. Dusty was almost home when he was killed four in the morning on Bancroft near Upton. Somebody hit my brother and knows they did and left him lay on the road like like an animal to, to die. Dusty's birthday and date of death are now etched on Noel Dower's skin as a constant reminder. I never, I'll never forget my older brother. He was my best friend. Dusty was the oldest of six kids. He served in the U.S. Navy with his sister. The St. John sat down with us to share their story in hopes that someone will finally come forward with some much needed answers. You just can't imagine what it's like to lose a child and and not have any answers at all. We took a look inside TPD's property room. Officers believe Dusty was either riding or walking his bicycle on Bancroft when he was struck by two cars. Dusty's bike still sits in the same spot inside the Toledo Police property room five years later, broken. The left handlebar still bent upwards. But still, you know, even if it was an accident, somebody should have stopped because if that car would have stopped, then the next car wouldn't have crushed his skull. The Lucas County coroner ruled that Dusty died of traumatic crushing injuries. Police reports state Dusty was hit by one car. The second car crushed his skull. He was found in the middle of the street. Officers recovered white paint flakes from a suspect car at the scene. A partial tire tread impression was also left on Dusty's clothes. I mean, at that time of night, he's in the middle of the roadway. There's a very good chance they never saw him. Where they broke the laws once they left. Lieutenant Jeff Saluski, commander of the Toledo Police Traffic Division, says his crews aggressively pursued three leads after the crash. Investigators five years ago thought they were close when they processed a white car with damage consistent with striking a bicyclist. But BCI Crime Lab results cleared that suspected car. Those test results uh, they all came back uh, conclusively clearing that vehicle, stating it was not involved that none of the paint samples matched up, that there was no evidence uh, from Mr. St. John or his bicycle on that car. And as the years pass by, Lieutenant Saluski says finding any evidence on a car involved in that accident at this point may be gone forever. It's going to be very difficult to ever solve the case. It's just hard when you can't give that person the answers. And, you know, I think about it, and, and that's why I always said, I don't know how someone could live with themselves. You know, come tell us what happened clear it up, give the family some closure. The St. John's worry they may never get answers. What would you like to see happen? We just want whoever did it to come forward and say they were sorry and say that they didn't mean to kill our brother. Since Dusty's death, only one other fatal hit skip remains open, and that's this one. On March 13, 2013, 42-year-old Isaac Goff was struck and killed while walking across Alexis Road at 1 in the morning. And just like Dusty's case, officers are looking for any new leads. Both these cases remain open. If you have any information, you are being urged to call Crime Stopper at 419-255-1111. Reporting tonight, Senna Aura, 13 ABC Action News.